Honorable Vice Chancellor King George's Medical University, Honorable Vice Chancellor Era University, distinguished dignitaries, esteemed participants, and ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my warmest greetings and prayers from Bhutan and thank you for the joy and privilege of being a part of this August gathering. As things stand, this 10th edition of the Indian Academy of Biomedical Sciences International Conference is a testament of faith, an act of courage, and an expression of hope. Over two years on, humanity continues to live under the shadow of COVID-19. The invisible enemy is still around and we haven't seen the last of its variant. We lost millions of the members of our human family across the world. The old certainties no longer remained certainties and the regular rhythm of our life was thrown off balance. But the good news is that millions more have survived the scourge of the deadly virus and its variants, and our societies are beginning to return to some semblance of the normal. Despite the pain and privations unleashed by the unprecedented challenges, what became absolutely clear to men, women and children from coast to coast, country to country, continent to continent, is the preciousness of life. Nothing matters more than life, as my most compassionate king so firmly believes in. Yes, nothing is more important than life. And that is the reason we are here. We were caught unawares, but people like you, our scientists, researchers and medical professionals rose to the challenge and gave to the world life-saving vaccines and vital services that have secured humanity from what could have been total decimation. This conference is a tribute to that spirit of caring and healing in honor of life and living and that affirmation of the primacy of life and the need to preserve the preciousness of life is, I believe, at the heart of your medical profession. I commend the bold vision of King George's Medical University and ERA University and the hard work of the organizing committee comprising the departments of biochemistry and biotechnology respectively of your great seats of learning for making possible this confluence of great medical scholars, practitioners and policy makers from around the world in your beautiful city of Lucknow of great awakenings and outstanding achievements. As a privileged beneficiary of the extraordinary breakthroughs in support to life that you and your colleagues across the world have demonstrated, I would like to offer my highest tributes to all of you and your teams, no matter wherever you serve, for your incredible commitment to life and to its preservation. In the course of the next two packed days, you will explore recent trends in biomedical research with particular emphasis on current challenges and future prospects. Your insights and experiences will contribute in significant ways to preparing our societies to meet future challenges as you apply your findings to serve humanity ever better at all times. In your infinite generosity, ERA University has considered it worth your while to undertake the publication of the Udu edition of my little book titled My Green School. I would like to express my deep gratitude to the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. Farzana Mehdi, 
for discovering some merit in my humble effort. I am truly grateful to Professor Subhi Zaidi for offering to grant a new life to my book through his inimitable mastery of the linguistic and literary riches of the great Urdu language. I am indebted to Dr. Sabra Habib for gifting to the Urdu edition of my Green School her deep insights into the literary and linguistic nuances of one of the most beautiful languages of humanity. I have enjoyed working with amazing Dr. Shiraz Rizvi over many months as he led this important project on behalf of his university. Thank you, Dr. Rizvi, for your passion, energy and endurance that has produced this truly beautiful book. I am grateful to Nizami Press for accommodating our many changes and for their professional outlook. Above all, I am most grateful to Dr. Amrita Das, Founder Director of the Institute for Career Studies and Chair Lucknow Global for her incredible insights into the underlying theme of my book that affirms education as the most vital instrument for human and societal flourishing in the timeless tradition of the noble sector of public service. But for her vision and initiative, the Udu edition of my green school would not have been possible. Above and beyond all is the larger than life presence of His Majesty the Fourth King of Bhutan, the Gyalpo Jimmy Singh Wongchuk, from whose all-embracing vision of gross national happiness, my little book derives its vital life and sustaining energy. This conference is a tri-junction of life. The organizing universities have themselves come into being with the primary goal of serving and supporting life through educating in the original promise of the profession. Life, bio, is the defining commitment of the Indian Academy of Biomedical Sciences. And green in my green school is not only the primary color of Mother Nature, but a metaphor for life in all its infinite variety. Therefore, it is hardly a coincidence that all the positive energies have cohered here in this conference in honor of life, precious, various and beautiful. I am most grateful to the organizing committee for the gracious decision to launch Shami Amojis at this August gathering. It is my hope and my prayer that the sole message of my little book will bless the speakers of the many languages into which it has been translated. I wish the conference every success and fulfillment and happiness to all of you as you look ahead. Dhanibad, Tashidili, and thank you.